The year is 1694. It's been five years since the British passed a Toleration Act, allowing some but not all religions who descended from the Church of England to practice out in the open. That freedom was extended to include a small English colony in what is now Flushing, Queens. There, the Religious Society of Friends erected a meeting house. Today, the Friends Quaker Meeting House remains practically unchanged on Northern Boulevard. It's more than three centuries old. Quakers were here uh, before New York was New York. The Friends Meeting House is New York City's oldest house of worship in continuous use and the second oldest in the nation. Before its building in 1694, services were held in the kitchen of John Bow, a few blocks away. He's now buried in the graveyard behind the meeting house. The Quakers, when they were founded, they were very concerned about not living a worldly life. And so rather than have their meeting house facing the world and where all the business was, you came around to the back, to the entrance. Times were much different back then, to say the least. Quakers preached equality of the sexes, though that was hard to bring to fruition in a patriarchal society. The women would go through what was once the women's entrance, and then the men would come in on this side to the men's entrance. We have uh, pretty much um, gone beyond that tradition, and now women and men sit together uh, here in this worship space. In 1717, the Quaker congregation grew so rapidly it was time to add on. Those renovations stand today, too. Here are two of the knees, the ship knees I was telling you about here, which is the root system and the trunk of the tree. The meeting house has served its original purpose for more than 300 years, interrupted only during the American Revolution when British troops occupied the building. Legend has it that they chopped up and burnt the original pews, and so these were pews that were um, replacing the original pews, uh, and they were built actually by individual Quaker families for their own um, seating. And while some pieces of the meeting house history is charming. Here we have the work of some bored Quaker children, uh, 1821. It looks like a heart, somebody is heart here as well. Other parts are monumental. George Washington became here, he worshipped with us twice. Once during the revolution, early in the revolution, and why once when he was president. The landmark property still hosts meetings for worship every Sunday. It's a place where people of all faiths are welcome to practice in peace and break bread together. Reporting in Flushing, Queens, I'm Kayla Mamalak, Fox 5 News.